What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's Game Boy We're here with another episode of The Long Dark. Hey, I'll do it! Hey! I don't even know what day we're on here now at the moment. Uh, we're in an old lady's house. We're trying to feed her. We're gonna give her some rancid fucking rabbit meat. And she can take it and she can deal with it. How do I get out of here? Where's the bed? I think we're gonna spend another hour in bed until it's daytime. Because I don't think we're just there just yet. Last episode we made our way into the bank, the credit union rather. Had a loot. Got the key to open the safe. Uh, sorry, the code to open the safe and then a key to open a lockbox inside it. And done both of those things. Didn't really get a whole lot. Still no gun. Have ammo. Still no gun, still no flare gun. Gonna go check out these caches that we were informed about. So if I go into our letters here. We were told about two stashes now that have been left around. So do I have knowledge about people? Actions, do I have to click this? Surely I've learned something about this crazy old lady. Okay. Twenty-five trust. Rabbit pelt or cured rabbit pelt. Oh. How do I give those to her, though? I'd probably have to click on her. She wants sticks for plus one trust. We're doing a quest for her at the moment to fill up her fridge. So this is probably teaching you about the whole trust system, per se. Wait, no. We're going to go sleep for, like, another hour. Or as much of it as we can. To try and get it to daytime. So that way we're able to actually find our way out of this fucking house. GG, close enough. Right. The door is like... Uh, there. No. Yes. Fantastic. Can I go over here? Yeah. Okay. And then we go down. Fireplace. Fucking nailed it. Crazy old lady. Holster this. Hit I. We're gonna leave some food in her fucking pantry because this bitch she's all about food in her pantry okay open yeah open the fridge give her the rancid rabbit because ugh. and give her the doge food what else can i give her here no i don't really need give her that give her this we got a lot of venison yesterday, so that kind of just brought us up to where we needed to be. Give her the fucking... Give her the tin shit that I'm not going to really have time to deal with. That's probably the most efficient way of dealing with her bullshit. I kind of want to make sure that I don't really have a lot on me if I'm going to go find some fucking hidden stashes of goodies. And the weather does not sound all that pleasant at the moment. There is a wolf. We're lurking around the house too. He's been getting a bit more antsy each time. We've presented ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna leave some water here because we have fucking tons of it. Um, so let's drop three liters into the stash. Thought he was aggroed there for a second. Should be able to... He's pathing over here with a vengeance. Right. Hey, we're okay to head out. It's cold, but like, we're not going far. We're just going to go above town here and look for a cave. So apparently there's a place above town where they go to look at the stars. So above town indicates this direction to me. And there's a trail going up to the radio mast here. So all of that kind of just... It makes me think that this is likely to be where it ever where it is. There's one at the back of the church that we learned about in the last episode also. So we're never going to hit that shit up at some stage. Still the same day. I, I'm doing all this in the one day. I, I'm fucking pure addicted to this, man. This is so fucking good. I'm really enjoying the story mode. I'm so happy it's finally fucking out. So happy it's finally out. Gee fucking gee. Let's head up here to the left and just see if we can't spot. What the fuck is that up there? It's a tree that's been torn over. Okay, that's fine. Let's just see if we can't spot a place where these crazy kids have been hanging out. Man, that makes me feel fucking old. Calling people crazy kids. Holy shit. 
I'm not old. Everyone shut the fuck up. Right. Let's have a gander. Mm, no, nothing over here. We're gonna go back the other way now. We are above town. I, I, like, definitely this would qualify as being above town, but we're not. We're not in the sweet spot, I don't think. I'm not too sure that this will be blatantly obvious here. I think it is just going to be a cave. That's what we're looking for, is a wee little cave. But it's probably not going to be on the beaten track. Probably be going to be out of the way. That's why I feel like... Heading through all of these places is probably a good shout. We're not at full condition because I was a bit of a dickhead and gave myself food poisoning in the last episode. You don't need to know about it. If you're only joining us, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to worry about that bit. It's fine. It's fine. Never happened. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick on the beaten track, so I am not really spotting anything in the way of a surprise of goodies. Although this little spot here kind of looks like it's out of the way, and you wouldn't really go on to it unless you had to. Uh, I thought for a minute maybe. Yeah, whatever. Let's head back up this trail up towards the radio station. And then if all else fails, we'll just head over to the church. We'll see what's at that stash in the marsh. And then uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully we haven't already come across it. But it's set at the back of St. Uh, St. Christopher's. Uh, in the marshland area is what the note said. The other one said where we look at the stars. So, like, it's probably some kind of mountainous area. And it did say above the town. So, like, it has to be local enough. Surely. Dead body of some sort up here. Now, that's potentially concerning. Check up in this little cleft here. Although, I don't see how you'd really see the stars from there. I think we're looking for a cave. Do I have meat on me? Doesn't say. It hasn't got the smelly thing, so I don't think I'm smelly. It's a wee little rabbit there on the left. Here, look, if all else fails, we got ourselves a bit of venison. If all else fails, we've got ourselves a bit of venison. And potentially... A shed load of cattails. Hmm. Which I should grab. I should grab. I'm only going to take the stalks. I'm not taking the heads. Because we're fucking... We've tinder coming out of our arse here now at the moment. Oh, fucking hell. I did the wrong key again. Jesus Christ. I keep doing that. I keep left clicking the one I don't want to left click. There we go. If that rabbit comes over, I'll fucking... I'll headshot that piece of shit with a stone. While I'm gathering here. I'll check that deer out now in a second and see what he's got on him, but I just kind of want to... I think they're the ones over at the church. I think we're okay. I'm starting to get an idea of the shape of this map. Yeah, I don't think they're going to bother us. Uh, until we head back over there, and then they're definitely going to bother us a lot. Um, we'll figure that out when we get to it. We kind of looked out on the first day there with the church. We managed to drag one of the wolves into the rabbits. And that got us out of shit, but... Mm. Could we do it a second time? Don't think so. Kinda wanna nail that rabbit there, to be honest. Because the, the deer... He ain't, uh... He ain't going anywhere. But the rabbit... That's potential food, whereas the deer is guaranteed food. Do you know what I mean? Like, the rabbit, if we can get that, means we have a surplus. Let's try and nail this son of a bitch. That's a wide miss. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Your fucking face is making my face feel thick, you fuck. I don't think we got all of the rushes. Uh, we didn't. Oh, come on, we just grabbed these ones real fast. I'm gonna holster this, because I tend to throw them by accident. Very quickly, just gather these now. It's just nice, easy fucking food. Takes a little bit of time to grab it, but it's guaranteed. It's not going stale. And it's just fucking convenient as fuck. Just takes a while to eat it to get it into you, like... All the heads are still gonna be there for when we come back. Okay. No. 
Oh, why are you? What the fuck are you doing, bro? Whoa, I missed that badly. Alright, stop running, little dude. I feel like that one kind of hit. That one sure as fuck did. I'll take it. Break that little fucker's neck. Crunch. Oh. Oh. That was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, we got ourselves a morsel. And we do have a bit of smell on us. So actually carrying the carcass of the rabbit is enough to, uh, to make you stank. We're quite cold, so this actually potentially is a terrible idea. Hopefully we don't actually get hypothermia from just doing that. I might actually have to start a fire while we're up here. Might not be a bad idea. All things considered. Really? That was like the tiniest wee bit off. We're going to make our way up to the radio tower. We're going to fuck this shit. We're messing now. And I, I could potentially freeze up here, so. If there's a wee little cave, I'll... This is totally where the stash is. Caves tend to be warm. I'll pop a sprint to get into a cave. If it means I'm not going to fucking freeze to death. Temperature, how are we looking? Temperature is not coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a fear. We're going to start it right here. We're going to use a book, because books weigh a lot. Or we want to get rid of some of them. Okay. Come on. Yeah, come on, bud. We'll cook up this bit of a rabbit. I'm not really too pushed on keeping the rabbit. Oh, fuck. Like a damn time. Not really too pushed on keeping the rabbit pelts. It's a 95% chance, by the way, folks. 95 fucking percent, and he can't start the fire. Holy shit. It took me a week of not living at home to learn how to use the fucking fireplace to keep myself warm. Jesus Christ. He's getting me antsy here. They're watching the fucking bar. Here. I'm starting to get a bit kind of like, come on, make sure you light, you piece of shit. We're good. We're good. It's totally lighting this time. I can see fire coming out of the fire. That is a great sentence. Deal with it. We'll be able to get a torch out of this bad boy that we can use to, uh... Turned out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, it only took you two goes. Eh, uh, fucking... Get this on the go. Take torch. Now... We're going to investigate this area because I reckon this is where the cache is, the stash, so to speak, of goodies that that letter was talking about. A lot of coal here, as it were. Now, I reckon it's probably going to be in around a corner somewhere, hidden out of obvious view. We're gaining temperature off of the torch, as well as being in the cave, I think, so... That's very suspicious. Oh, it is. Yeah, the hidden cache. Okay, emery. Thing. Ear wrap. Oh, out of wool. Flare. No, God. That was quite good. That was quite good. I may sound disappointed, but that was actually quite good. The uh, the wool and scarf thing there has got to be huge. Let's just make sure. It feels like you need to shut the fuck up, bro. Feels like you need to shut the fuck up. So we found one of the stashes anyway. That's quite good. That's quite good. This venture has already proved useful. We have a lot of coal. Yet I'm not too sure we're going to really ever get an opportunity to use it. Okay. We're going to add this uh, torch into it. And a couple of sticks. Just so that way it continues burning. And what we're going to do is... Hey, fuck it. We're going to cook up all of this venison. So that way I don't stank. And the wolves don't come to eat me. So we've got enough um, meat now to anyway finish our quest with her. And not only that, we also have quite a decent selection of toys to kind of choose from in terms of progressing our character, technologically speaking, as well. Now all we need is like a flare gun, a rifle, a knife. A knife would be fucking nice. A whetstone so I can repair those things. Because our dagger thing that we've been using is kind of fucked. Kind of a little bit fucked now. So, there's that. Might actually warm up that cup of coffee and drink it. Keep our guy going for a little while longer. It's kind of wasteful, but eh, whatever. It'll be warm. So, let's drink that. And then we're going to... 
very quickly harvest the meat off of this little fucker. I accidentally used the hatchet. Feels bad, man. That fucking sucks. Um, yeah, what can you do? Do I want to hide in that? Like, really? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Like, we're comfortable here. We have a bit of time. Spend a bit more time doing this than I planned, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We have tons of water, by the way, so I'm not really pissed, pushed about that at all. We're gonna cook that bit of rabbit. We have food for the next two or three days now, so we're fine in that regard. We'll grab a torch. And we will dip. Probably shouldn't have drank the hot coffee while I was still in here by the fire. Shut up, everyone. <laughs> this is a learning process. We're quite warm here at the moment. We're quite cozy. We stink of one. That's probably the gut that we've got on us more than that, I reckon. It's a gander. See what you can see over here. Okay, some more clear cut wolf. Probably a few of them down there. There's a little shack over there also. I feel like there could be goodies up here too. Did you ever just get that vibe? You're in an area? Yeah, there's a sign over there. Oh, there's a gas station is over there. Okay, no, that's fine. Make our way back down here now. Careful we don't get a sprain. Give up. Whew. That was a bit of a drop. A bit of a... I didn't know what that creaking sound was. We've already checked that carcass. I'm not I'm not getting the gut off it around like that. Like there's no need. It's not gonna do anything for us. We killed a rabbit up here. There's another one running around somewhere, but eh, fucking. We're doing okay on meat so far. Like I think if we get bogged down trying to get every single resource in the area, we're probably gonna suffer because of it. So I think you need to be kind of efficient, but you also need to be diligent in your efficiency as well. You need to kinda cover everything. But at the same time, you also need to... Oh, rip. You also need to kind of get moving and just get through everything, too. Died with a soda in his hand. I respect this guy. I respect this guy a lot. Oh, died with pork and beans in his hand. Bro, you know how to do it. You know how to do it. Could end up being useful. An arrow hit. Oh, man, the textures on that look so cool. Neat. Torch is nearly burnt out now. So we won't be getting our little bit of a heat benefit from that. Also, any defense that we would have garnered for being able to fling that at a fucking uh, a doge is now gone. Ever spat off the side of a bridge? <laughs> Headshot a wolf. GG. They call me the survival king. All right, what are we going to find of this? This is like a... What's oh, a supply bin? Eh. Eh. Oh, yeah, um, I'll take it. It's not exactly what you need, but I'll take it. It's not terrible either. Hmm. Let's try and get a bit of an overview of what's going on here. Right, so there's houses over there to the right. We've done that house over there, but we haven't done those houses over there. But we've done pretty much every other house in this place now. And then when you just go on a wee little bit, it opens up into a kind of like graveyard and then a gas station. And there's a wolf over there. All right, so we're getting a bit of scouting done. We're going to make our way back to the crazy old lady. We'll complete our quest. And then we'll head back to the church, St. Christopher's. And see what we can find in the cache back there. She might give us the rifle as well. Um, It might be a kind of like you need it more than I do type of thing. Once we gain her trust. Door just fucking slammed there. It usually happens like if you leave like the back door open and then you like open the front door or some shit like all the doors in the house is slammed. Pressure! <laughs> it's fucking crazy loud, dude. Again, I'm uh, I'm astounded with the performance differences between this build of the game and the sandbox version that we were playing in our series that long ago when we were getting serious frame loss when we were getting into areas like this. Like it just seems to be a lot more stable now. Um, it's definitely what I would call a finished product. It's quite good. Quite good. Again, thoroughly fucking impressed with how it's performing now at the moment. I was kind of getting pissed off with the performance issues that we were suffering, but it's nice to see an early access game actually make its way out of early access. Like, it's kind of frustrating when games don't. 
and they don't really make it out all that often. A lot of games have a track record for kind of just staying in early access or just kind of stagnating and the developers run off into the horizon with all of your money. Ooh. We're looking quite stable here at the moment. I might actually eat a bit of rabbit just to get rid of it because it's not really that calorifically dense. Um, so its weight versus the amount of calories it's providing us is all is not all that good. And as such, prioritize eating that over other things to clear out the extra bit of space. Now, drink a bit of H2O. Our guy's fully topped off now. This is as good as it gets. We have an MRE. She said she would give us points for an MRE. I think uh, we gain respect points for her if we give her an MRE. I reckon if we get her respect maxed out, we'll probably get her gun. I think that's how it works. Or she'll do shit for us. Freaky shit. Like tie me up and cover me in baby oil. I don't really know. I'm kind of interested to find out. Okay, let's keep pushing back here. I wonder what this... It's not even a slope there, dude. Not even a slope. No, no, it can't hurt. You can uh, you can walk on it and you can tough it up and you can fucking deal with it. That's natural selection, friend. That's natural selection. If you can't survive the slope, you don't deserve to survive. <laughs> you smart, you fucking son of a bitch. I could just use the rose of tea and fix it, like, now. But, you know, whatever. I should, actually, because there could be a wolf here and I could get chased now in the next couple of seconds and then we're kind of up shit creek because I can't sprint. Don't think I'd be able to sprint anyway because, um... I'm so fucking uh, overloaded with gear as it is. Eh, let's be proactive. Let's be proactive. Good shit. Right, we're going to drop some firewood and some coal here. Drop, drop all. Drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. Um, we'll keep like four of them on us or something. Just a handy amount, just so that we don't die. Not the usual. A lot of newspapers here. If anyone likes reading old newspapers. Hit Gibbo era up. He's got tons. Okay, and now medical supplies. The reason I'm just leaving them all outside here is because I, I don't really give a shit. It's fine. They're not going anywhere. Antibiotics don't really need all that many, to be fair. And we've got so many water purification tablets here. I don't even know what to fucking do with them. Oh, I have to drop them all individually? That's great. We have lots of water. I'm not really pushed about that shit as it stands. It's all extra weight as well, technically. That we don't really need on us right now. I have a lot of painkillers and I have a lot of ricey tea. I guess I am going to drink one. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're going to go give this bitch her fucking stuff and then see what she wants me to do. And we got a pelt, did we not? We did. Now we have a couple of pelts here, so then slightly to the side of that. Down here in the crafting. Not the cured leather, but what we're looking for is her... Oh, this. Yes. And we'll also drop the gut as well. And we'll get all of that curing as well. Um, I'm actually going to pop back outside really quick. And I'm going to drop a bit of metal on the deck out here. And also the... Possibly some of the cloth. Oh, I've got quite a lot of that on us as it stands. Again, that's all just alleviating a bit of weight. We've got like two kilos of cloth. Don't really need that much ever. Uh, we'll drop all of that and just try and lighten the load a little bit more. I probably will break this eventually just to get it out of the fucking way. Um... Hmm. I don't know if wolves respawn. I don't know if I kill a wolf, will it, like, just fuck off forever? And then I'll just unlock, like, an area where I can just move peacefully? Or will it be, like, sandbox mode where, like, the wolves are just, like, keep coming back every couple of days? Yeah. That's interesting. I'm intrigued. Right. Okay. We're gonna give her that and that. And that should be it. There we go. I've completed the quest, and I can take all of this back now. <laughs> I should, but I won't. 
Ew. So tell me, Mainlander, did you do what I asked? Did you ransack the gas station? Did you clean them out? No, I didn't. I know you're angry about people abandoning you here, but if someone comes back and they find all their food found its way into your pantry, they'll be even less likely to help you. And I have a feeling that if someone comes back, you're going to need all the help you can get to make it through the winter. So no, I didn't steal the gas station supplies, but I found enough food to help you make it through the next few weeks, and I'll be back to check on you when I can. Well, I guess I misjudged you, Mainlander. Over the years, I have learned that most people disappoint you, given the chance. You give me some hope. So, now give me a gun. You're all set for food and fuel. I'd like to hear what you know about my friend now. Friend? Yeah. She passed through. Some people heard her. In the storm. Huh. You already said that. Where did she go? She passed through town. Too many closed doors, broken houses. Nowhere to run, to hide. Why didn't anyone help her? Yes, why didn't they? They should have. They should have found her before it was too late. Okay. That's ominous. Great mother, what would you like to talk about? Well, I can give her items now, and that will give me more trust with her. Um, what have I got that she wants? A stick. Plus one. How much would the MRE give me with her? Plus ten. Can opener. I don't really want to give her a can opener. Let's give her a stick, too. I can craft more bandages. Yeah, confirm. Our, our history, our, our thing with her is up to like fucking plus thing. Oh, I get plus 50 for a rabbit pelt. Cured or fresh. Where's my fucking, where's my fresh rabbit pelt? Let's fucking, let's give her one of those. All right, go back into trust here. Let's uh, give her an item. Let's give her the fresh rabbit pelt, which gives me plus 50. Okay, so now I think she, she'll tell me whatever I need to know. At 100? Would she give me stuff? Hang on, if I go out and go back into this. Hang on. The Grey Mother? We'll starve unless you stalk her. Optional, break into the gas station and ransack it for supplies. Which is what we're gonna do now. Like, <laughs> come on. Um. Trust. Okay, so... You unlock things with her as you get your trust up. She'll give you my mountaineering boots... World building information about the perse uh, Perseverance thing. Crafting blueprint for rabbit skin mittens. Information about where I might find a distress pistol. And the location of a supply cache. Oh shit, dude. We should just give her all of these fucking... Uh... No, not the guts. Rabbit pelt. Oh, it's cured now and all. Really? Well, I'm not going to be able to fucking craft it until I get it off her. Hang on. Let's do this. And then I'm going to drop them all here now again in a second. Right, we're going to go back into Trust. Go into Next. And we're going to give her items. And we're going to give her the Cured Rabbit Pelt. What is she on? She's on like 87. 287. Something. I don't know. Fucking whatever. We're up to 300 odd here. So now we can get loads of information out of her. And if I go back into I here, we click on... Click on this... And we'll go into trust. And there's only one thing we haven't unlocked with her. And we'll do that with another rabbit pelt, actually. So we could go out and just snipe a rabbit really fast. And get that. 375. Yeah, we're like 40 short of it. I kind of regret giving her the MRE now. But uh, fucking, she's a cute, adorable little old lady with a gun. And she's blind. So why not? Let's give her the fucking MRE. It's a bit too late as it is. So we nearly have her totally unlocked. Just as a consequence of... I actually have a fresh deer hide. Um, If I go here... Drop that on the deck. And drop all that gut. And we have a bit of cloth and that. I could make a couple of bandages. Get her that way. She's likely to tell me a lot of shit now here. So right, anyway. Story. Not now, Mainlander. Leave me to my thoughts for a while. Alright, bitch. What would you like to talk about, right? Let's have a chat about some of the shit that we... 
Gandalf are sharpening. Pilot like you has probably lived a comfortable life. I mean, no better than most people, no worse. Out here, people understand the value of hard work, good tools, and working with their hands. I can handle myself. Hmph. We'll see. They say the most important tool out here is a good hatchet or knife. But keeping them sharp is the secret. I'll keep that in mind. Do you want to give me a whetstone? I already know about that shit. Milton history. So the outsider wants to know more about Milton. Yeah, I'm curious about what happened here. To understand Milton, you have to understand the collapse. I mean, I know about the quakes. We experienced them too on the mainland. Not like this, you didn't. <laughs> the collapse? You've mentioned the collapse a couple of times. I know it's been rough, but... You can't imagine it, mainlander. We were already on our knees. I'd like to understand how it affected Milton and other areas more. I had no idea. Exactly. Let me tell you how it was. Supplies. Milton seems very remote. What do you do in medical emergencies? Ha! We do what we always do. We take care of our own. Well, what about outsiders? I can see you'll need help. I heard gossip that the mirrors kept some kind of supply kit hidden in their back garden. Goods they smuggled in from the mainland and didn't want anyone to know about. If you can find them, you should take them. You'll need them. Okay, protection. There are a lot of wolves around. Watch out. People say they can smell your fear. I am Bane. <laughs> you think I could borrow that rifle of yours? You would leave an old lady defenseless so you could protect yourself? Yes. Shame on you, Mackenzie. Of course not, but it would be nice to have a bit more protection out there. Surely someone else in the town must have owned a gun of some kind. Old Henry McDermott used to be with the Coast Guard. He kept a distress pistol around, just in case. To call for help? Right. Henry was always worried about their, about kids getting their hands on it, so it won't be easy to find. Thanks. Okay. Let's learn about rabbit skin mittens. If you want to survive out here, you have to learn to be self-sufficient. Right. When I was growing up, we understood what that meant. When something wore out, we couldn't just go online and order a new one. Have it magically drone delivered to your door. Bah! As a little girl, I already knew how to hunt rabbits and turn their skins into clothes. I'll tell you how it's done. I reckon that means that we now know how to craft the mittens, eh? What can you tell me about the great bear? Nothing you can't read in the history books. Uh... Oh, for goodness sake. Take this one. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I think we're finished with her. Finished. Okay, I don't think we progressed the story until we max it out either. So I think now I can craft rabbit skin mittens. Aye, I can. We need four cured pelts, two cured gut. We have the cured gut. The pelts are going to be a little bit more difficult to come across. Okay. Anywhere. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? I have a map now? There's a map? Oh, it tells you where stuff is, dude. Light up the night. That's probably the... It's the gas station. St. Christopher's. The cash. Oh, the cash is actually marked on the map as well, dude. Awesome, man. Shortwave radio tower. We've already checked that cave. That was the bridge where we came in on. We actually slept in that cave as well. I think I actually need to visit the area in order to actually reveal it. Yeah, like items aren't going to be marked on the map until I um, I visit the particular item in question. Although buildings are marked on the map. So that does warrant mention, right? We are going to make our way back here eventually and get to that. Right, we've learned a lot of you crazy old lady. I need to kill another couple of rabbits, it would seem, so I can get my rabbit skin mittens on the go. 
Definitely want to look into doing that. Let's eat some food. We spent a bit of time dealing with her bullshit here. Should probably get on top of that. Okay. Now, let's go see if I can steal from her fridge and if the game will give out to me for doing that. Oh, yeah. Now I can't steal from her fridge. Okay. Well, you know what? That would have been a shitty thing to do anyway, so I guess that's kind of fair, isn't it? Oh, it's right there, dude. She's blind. Right, the pelts are there. They're curing. What time is it? Getting close to being nighttime. Should probably consider not doing what I'm about to do. We're going to go get that fucking pistol. And we're probably going to go shoot a wolf. Let's be real. That's a great idea. And if I can kill a rabbit or two while we're at it, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not that cold though. We've got our gear to a good spot here where we're able to kind of look after ourselves. Now, do I appear on the map? If I hit M, it brings up a map. Light up the night. Milton supply cache. So down the end of the road, there's a supply cache. Heading towards the... Heading towards where the uh, graveyard was, I think. At least what looked like a wee little graveyard, I guess. And... On the other side of town, opposite the old schoolhouse, there's a... A pistol, apparently. But it is literally adjacent to the old schoolhouse, I think. I'm not really certain. Where's the fucking old schoolhouse, bro? Is that the thing that's, like, back here? That's the post office. So this is when the house is kind of this side. So no, it wants to be over at this side. Towards the wolf, it would seem. Okay, there. this looks like a cache. No, that is a rock. I can't sprint. Bear that in mind. Where's the bank? That's the bank. So I, I just keep this line heading left. I'd be happier about the situation if I knew where that fucking wolf was, to be honest. Not 100% certain if I've scavenged that just yet, and kind of want to kill a couple of these wee rabbits. That sounded big, whatever it was, right? I see the wolf now. There's not really any hidey holes. This doesn't look boarded up. I can see there's a thing here at the back. Or maybe that's the super sneaky place. That we can get into. Eh? Or maybe there's a door on the side here. Or maybe there's just a door right at the front. We'll go with door in the front. Door on the front. I'll do it. Oh, McDermott had a farm. I haven't checked this building yet. Or maybe it just became available to check. I reckon that's actually what it was. Just pork and beans. I'll take it, dude. Nothing. What can you, McDermott? Damn it. Hope I can still eat this. Yeah. Yeah, you could. It's canned. It should be okay. It was in a fridge. The fridge is probably powered off, but it was in a fridge. Kind of feeling like sparking up a match, to be honest with you. I think that's a good plan, because it's kind of dark in here. And we'll just go looking for loose things while we have it lit. Keep it lit, fam. Oh, McDermott, where would you keep your fucking... I kind of need, like, a torch or something. Yeah, I feel like heading back outside, starting a fire, maybe crafting... Oh, wait, did I find some lantern oil there? I did. Oh, let's craft a torch. Makes far more sense. Oh, I don't have enough sticks. That's a first in this game. Terrified this wolf is going to spawn right in front of me. That might actually happen. Came out a side door. Let's 
It's right there, but it's not aggroed, so fucking we're kind of okay to dick around here for a little while. Should be some sticks somewhere here, surely, so I can craft a fucking torch. Like, come on. Here we go. Okay, well we've learned how to we've learned how to craft mittens in this episode, which was kind of badass. And we've nearly totally unlocked our rep with the old woman, just merely by consequence of me being a hoarder, which has worked out in our favor. All right, we're gonna get back. We're gonna craft a torch. We're gonna look for this fucking pistol. I feel like there could be loot in this gaff as well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling drawn to this area. I'm grabbing stones because I reckon those rabbits would be nearby here too. No, there's nothing. Okay, whatever, rip. And I keep thinking I've done like the entire area, and then it turns out I've missed like three or four houses. <laughs> but I think this is one of the last now. We're gonna get in. We're gonna craft up a torch. We'll go in the side door. Let's not fuck around here. Good shit. And we'll craft up this torch and then light it. Loot this house. Head back to the crazy old lady's house. And then, um... Probably call it a day. Okay, let's begin crafting this bad boy, bud. This will be a good torch as well. This one will last a while. No. Get the torch. That's the job. Use a match. Spark it up! Okay. Got a book, got a book, tinder plug, fireplace, I do love me a good fireplace, I do actually, I quite enjoy starting fires. I don't mean that in a pyromaniac, kind of like, let's go burn down the neighbor's sense, but I mean like a, as a kind of like actually having a fireplace, setting up the fire, all this shit, I, I find it very satisfying. All right, not really all that much in the way of loose items, let's grab this, take all the water, that's all we live off is toilet water, Um, that's how I roll. Fuck you guys. Loot this. Take everything while we're here. Take fucking everything, sure. Get our hands on whatever we can. We'll sort it out later when we get back. We already have a sprained ankle, so we don't really need to worry about that. We just need to worry about aggro on this roll fed side. Which is kind of probably going to be an issue for a while until we can uh, deal with them. Pistol? No, dude. Come on. Really? Where would you keep your fucking guns? Hmm. In the bed? That's where I'd keep it, in the bed, so it can accidentally go off in the middle of the night and shoot me in the fucking ass. And uh, where do you keep your fucking gun? Canadians, Americans, commenters, where do you keep your fucking guns? Tendles, tell this humble Irishman who hasn't a fucking breeze. Right. I'm not humble at all. I know what you're talking about. Oh, my phone's ringing. Okay, and we're back. That was my, my grandmother and my aunt came over to fucking visit, so... GG, we got distracted. We're in a house. We're looking for a gun. But we got nuts and stuff, so that's also quite nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. We're looking for this dude's pistol. Where would you stash it? It's totally in here somewhere, because we got the little prompt when we came in. Um, like, would it be in a cabinet? Because he said he was paro about leaving it somewhere. Because he was afraid kids would find it. Would he have it buried outside? He's like, no, you wouldn't do that. Fuck. Where would it be? Where would it be? Like up on top of shit? No. Um. Where would you leave this? Nah, nah, this is fucking. That would have been too good. Maybe I'm looking like maybe I'm looking too far away. Yeah, this makes sense. The drawer next to the fireplace. This is any good to eat. It's it's totally good to eat, dude. Don't be such a fucking moan bag. Would it be in the chair? Like could that be a thing? In a pillow? Wouldn't be in a fucking pillow, would it? Like you fucking hit it inside the pillow, like? It said it was gonna be properly hidden. I said, it said, uh, the old lady said, whoa, frame loss. Shit, son. Could it be behind? Like a p picture frame. Like a fake one. Is that a thing? That could be a thing. Oh, feel so good. Oh, yeah, you got a sprain, don't you? you? Fucking whiny little bitch. Jesus Christ. A fake picture frame would make sense. 
top of a cabinet. All of this has been... Wait, whoa! Hidden drawer. Hidden cash. Ah, under the floorboard. There we have it. Whoa, we got a load of rounds for that, man. Gee, fucky, gee, right. That was good. That was fucking huge. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hopefully we don't get eaten on the way home now. I'm not gonna bother with the painkillers until we get back. Like, I don't see much of a fucking point. Other than being able to sprint away from... Feels like night is coming. That dude. Did you hear him giving out, like... Well, maybe if you weren't such a fucking asshat. And got a sprained ankle. Like an asshat. You wouldn't have to deal with this shit. Don't know where the woofer is. It's a bit concerning. We have a fair bit of burn time left on this torch. This is a proper, like, made one. So, like, it's only starting to have the lifespan of the ones that we would typically... Get out of a fireplace. So, that's good. Like, we, um... We're after getting a fucking pistol there. That's, uh... That's huge. Like, we can use that to put down a wolf uh, at fairly close range. Uh, or at the very least, scare it away. I think that's going to have a higher success rate than the uh, kit we typically use. I think I broke down a crate. So I reckon we have a little bit more of this sort of shit on us. No, I don't. Okay, we did pick up some books, though. We're going to try and just keep staying on top of our inventory here. If all else fails when we're out in the wild, we'll always have a cache that we can come back to, which is... A good way of looking at it. We have a lot of clothing now, which I think goes in here, does it not? I would like to get all of this and get up into the room before it's night, so I don't get lost and have to waste a fucking match. Um, yeah, okay. In terms of clothing, we're going to drop this. This we're probably going to end up using. Oh, that's actually... It's a decrease. So we're wearing a new wool scarf. Oh, that's a cotton scarf. Okay. Yeah, no, that's kind of shit. Okay, no, so we're just going to actually drop that bad boy there. The running shoes, we're also going to drop. Sports socks, we're going to drop. Oh, that was... It was the, the ear warmer, wasn't it? Is that an accessory? It is an accessory. Gee fucking gee. So that's even more heat. Ah, I've never found a fucking accessory like that before. I think the only thing I've ever gotten is a balaclava. Um, yeah, that's that's probably just something for the L harvest pile, to be honest with you. Not really sure about that. We have nine shots for this fucking flare gun. That's huge. That's really good. Okay, I think we're just going to make our way upstairs and uh, go for sleepy time. We didn't get any gut or anything like that. Um, and what we'll do is we'll top off our food and water. Very, very swiftly, just prior to us going for a nappy new. And then I reckon we're probably going to wrap this episode up here. This episode may be slightly shorter than the others, but my kind of train of thought was kind of interrupted by the arrival of the family members. So, you know, you have to, you have to work with what you're given. Okay. Hey, we're, we're doing good in terms of inventory. Hang on, I'll make sure I'm pointing at the bed. So that way I can just click that shit and not mess around. Might do a bit of repair work on some of the clothing. Like this, for example. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's... We're gonna repair that by, like, 63%. Oh, this is gonna bring it up to 100%. 95% chance of success. 100% chance it'll probably fail. Okay, no, right. We're good. A lot of our kit is actually quite high in terms of stats. Um, except for the thermal underwear. Um, let's... Do a bit of work on these. Let's get these up to a good L, good L stack. Because we're not that tired. We're just injured. But like... <gasps> oh no, I did it again. Oh, you silly son of a bitch. I harvested it, didn't I? Oh no, how did I... Oh, How did I do that? Wow. 
Oh, I've done that before. I'm a fucking genius. Uh, <laughs> shit. Right, well, you know, fucking whatever. We, we can't really worry about it now too much. It's done now, so whatever. Rip. We are going to make sure that we repair this as well. Because we're going to want to get this up to a good set of stats. We are now starting to get tired, so asleep now would actually do us a bit of good. I kind of want to repair it up to 100%. It may not be efficient, but we're doing it anyway, so whatever. GG. And now we're going to drop this. And we're going to go for a wee sleep. I reckon we're going to wrap this episode up here. I think we got a fair bit done there now on that one. So this has been Gibbo Era, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below. And possibly consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns about anything that happened in this video, leave it down below in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take your handy. Bye-bye.